to fire Robert Mueller. Fake news, folks. Fake news. What's your message today? Typical New York Times fake stories. Mr. Trump. Go back to 2016. Trump is Hitler. Trump is Hitler. Trump is Hitler. Trump is, is evil. Trump represents fascism. Trump represents the rise of the new Reich or something. This was their narrative. And this wasn't something that was just put out on the internet or shouted by the Michael Moores and the Code Pinks of the world. This was high level CNN, Washington Post, you know, social justice crusader narratives and language that was used in the highest levels of America's media institutions. New York's Daily News ran this front page earlier this week, Trump is Hitler. And so then when Trump wins in a massive upset, suddenly they have a big problem because how in their walled garden can they explain that a guy that they told all of their people was the second coming of Hitler, how could 62 million Americans vote for Hitler, right? And so they have, they have a big problem there. How do you explain that away? Are 62 million Americans Nazis, right? No, that doesn't make any sense. Like that, that's, that's a bridge too far. Then they see the Russia collusion narrative sitting right there in front of them and say, why don't we just say that he cheated? So in their movie, Trump cheated with the help of Vladimir Putin, and then that became the reason that America elected the next Adolf Hitler. And then it became useful for so many various interests. Rachel Maddow uses it to gin up her ratings, right? Because she says, we're gonna get him, we're gonna catch him, we're gonna uncover this. Well, unfortunately, until this is released, I can't comment on the underlying documents, but I can say among the changes that I thought were notable, instead of some, you know, smoking gun that was always promised. It's on, well, it's classified, you can't see it, right? That was the game they played until Rick Grinnell blew that one up. Maybe these guys just actually believe that collusion is real and they're operating in good faith. In reality, that wasn't the goal. The goal was never to prove collusion. The goal was always indictments, convictions, and then impeachment. And that was the goal from the very start of all of it.